Hello friends. So welcome to the channel of Pro and MathCat videos, few tutorials actually. So uh, today we're gonna see symbolic calculations in MathCat. Symbolic calculation in MathCat we can define it as a very powerful tool to solve the equations. In every aspect of engineering applications, you're gonna need this symbolic toolbar. Uh, you can see the template here symbolic toolbar so various types of uh, constants you can see here like functions uh, modifiers float you're gonna need them all for different kind of operations according to requirement now let's see we have a general quadratic equation x square plus bx plus c and you all know that uh, what is the value of x a b and c in that case you have a complicated equation this is just a tutorial so for those who do not know the answers of uh, this type of equations how to use the symbolic toolbar to solve this let you wanna uh, find the value of x in this equation so what you gonna do go to symbolic tab method and then variables and then solve so here is the result bingo you can just press the variable and then solve and you get your results so now in case you have to find the value of c then again travel and so you get the value of c if the value of one to find the value of b so it can solve all type of equation now c i wanna change a to five what happens nothing happens the results are static so we just see the symbolic calculation such a powerful tool and the second second step its disadvantage drawback that the results are static they did not change if you changes the variable so in the case you are just doing a simple simple calculation work not so much programming type so for your good sake of word you can use this symbolic uh, because it is very fast okay so now uh, what to do if uh, we gonna change the variables all so like we have the same equation so you can see here a symbolic keyword evaluation but you gonna need another cheese and the test thing is control shift and clear you have to press and then gonna see control plus shift and plus period you have your keyboard you're gonna see that here in your keyboard now again so where we are like here now you have to type the keyword solve solve then press what you want to find x that's it and here your result Oh, sorry remember the just control shift and pair it works the same as you um, see the symbolic calculation just before uh, now in gonna case you gonna need C just press C and your results now same we have the same equation same everything is same now what is the different about this uh, another tool that is control shift function so let we change is a six and you see guys all your answers are changes put this as equal to five and you wanna put this equal to minus nine you have your results so here the results are not static you change the equation the results gonna change so this is basically made MathCat so strong that it has a vast variety of functions that gonna make you wonder how these calculations are the calculations are just so fast and it is before you you can see how these functions work so this is just an introduction part to symbolic calculations so seeing or just stay tuned to the channel for more different types of videos symbolical question thanks for watching
Hello friends. Today we gonna see ELF solve function in MathCAD. Uh, in the previous tutorial we see the given and find function. So basically given and find function works for a linear set of equations and you have to find the variables, value of variables. So in there you have to put the guess values and then given then equations and then find actually. So uh, if you want to skip all that mess like uh, guess values in given you go just go through a uh, else solve function in MathCAD. now consider if you have a number of equations like here in this case we have four equations four variables so you want to see a method which can easily add up four equations more equations and solve accordingly if you change this one equation then you can see the results so actual function have a uh, similar kind of uh, work here it has two parts one is matrix and one, another one is vector matrix basically defines the coefficients of the uh, variables like x y w and z you just have to put the coefficients in the matrix form and all the constraints like 5 0 1 and 10 whatever it is in the vector form now in this case we have a matrix form like this and you can see here four equations and four variables so you want to insert a four into four matrix so four four and you get your matrix now just type the variable x first then y and then w0 and z1 you can uh, press tab key to switch between the uh, values uh, placeholders actually so in second case Okay, now again vector form. So this is the matrix form. Now you have to put the vector form. Again, you can see a matrix of 4 into 1 actually, one column. So 5, 0 0.9, 10, 3.2. So now just simple, you have to type the health solve function to see the results, put parasynthesis m comma v close the bracket and that's it you're gonna type solution again and then plus the equal to sign here all your answers starting from x and ending to j so uh, where we can uh, use the else function the basic need of this function uh, in the case you have a linear set of equation so you are most welcome to use the else function now in some electrical networks where you have to find the current potential resistances everything you have complicated loop and you have a circuits loops so you just make equations of the variables um, denoting current potential difference and all resistance all that stuff and you can solve uh, using this function in another, in other words, we can say that in the pipe networks, mechanical engineering basically, and they can understand the piping networks have a different types of equations, some constants also. So you can set up a simple program that can solve uh, this this type of equations easily. So this is the basic need of the L-solve function. So hope all you like it. Thanks for watching.